Hello people of the internet, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about Tumblr aesthetics. And no, I promise it's not as bad as it seems to be just because it's from Tumblr. We'll be talking about Tumblr core art, or what people know as more as is core aesthetic or aesthetic core. What I mean is aesthetics that end in the core suffix, as explained by aesthetics fandom. Now, you might be wondering, Banner, why are you doing a video about only one type of aesthetic? Well, to be honest, there's a lot more aesthetic suffixes that we can get into in another video, but for today we'll be talking about only the core aesthetics. Let's dive right into it. So, what are core aesthetics? Well, there are different varieties of aesthetics. Core is a suffix that is used to represent it as its own category. To name a few popular ones, there's angel core, baby core, and weird core, all different in their own way. While most core aesthetics have no known original creator listed, they're all still widely used in some sort of fashion, that being art, photography, etc, etc. An also interesting fact is that almost all types of core aesthetics remain in the 2010s, meaning that some of these styles could be a decade old already. Wow, time flies by, doesn't it? Anyways, why do I call them Tumblr core art? Well, simple answer is that if you go into Tumblr and search for these core aesthetics, I guarantee you'll find them quickly. Most, if not all, core aesthetics are posted onto Tumblr, then being shared around the web. Something else that should be included is that there are Instagram accounts that post core aesthetic type photos and art, some made by the Instagram accounts, but mostly taken from Tumblr. So, what made core aesthetics so popular? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure. I believe that over time the community kept growing and growing, and so it is what it is now. One thing that does pop into my head on how it could have gotten an even bigger community is its weird and outlandish vibe that some of the cores give out. One that seems to be very popular amongst the community is the use of liminal spaces. You may or may not know what liminal space means, so I'll give an explanation to it. Liminal spaces are usually places that are filled with things and people use. Such examples are of a street or maybe even a cafe. They all have a purpose in the world and are used in such a way. Now picture places abandoned like a mall or a parking lot, places which are supposed to be used. People don't usually see sites like this for too long and in return, looking at pictures of liminal space give off an eerie feeling, which can also be turned into a sense of nostalgia or enamoa, nostalgia for a time you've never known. A feeling of entering a different time which you never belonged in. Yeah, it can get pretty weird and deep with all these different things put together. Of course, Tumblr did not create liminal space photography, but I would say they definitely popularized it in their small community. Liminal space is actually one of the few reasons why I wanted to make this video, because I noticed a huge amount of people on YouTube have no idea where these images are most likely coming from, or know the source of where they were posted. I also noticed that there are a lot of videos on compilations of pictures like this, but not a single video explaining what they are. If you go and search pictures that feel strangely familiar on YouTube, you'll notice it's kind of like a trend. And I think with that being said, I would like to move on to my next topic of so another community within the core aesthetic one that's used for healing and coping one that is very sensitive so before i continue i advise you to click out the video for sensitive and touchy subjects with that said let's continue on trauma core a sensitive aesthetic as it deals with people turning their traumas into a sort of theme lost core an aesthetic of feeling of being lost either mentally or physically empty core an aesthetic that involves emptiness, identity, slight abstract visuals, and negative thinking. All of these core aesthetics are used in a way that help people cope with their past experience and or PTSD. As I said before, this is a sensitive topic, and a touchy one too, so why did I bring it up in the first place? Well, despite how sad the use of these core aesthetics are, they also have their own place in the core aesthetic community and deserve to be recognized. The way these core aesthetics are used are honestly great. I say that because people have the freedom to cope with themselves, vent out their pain, and give themselves at least a small break from whatever they've gone through. Something that is really awful and I wish I didn't have to bring up is that people of a different community, a kink community named DDLG, which stands for Daddy Dom Little Girl, have taken people's trauma art slash edit and used it in cutesy ways and basically ignored the original purpose of the art slash edit piece, which has sadly left people with no choice besides leaving a tag which reads in the lines of, do not interact if you're a kink blog. I'm not sure why people have the nerve to do that, but I guess some people could care less. With all that said, I don't think there's much more to talk about the core aesthetics. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please drop a like, consider subscribing, and share this video with your friends. These videos take me a while to make, so I'd appreciate it a lot. Leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. Banner, signing out.